everybody i'm back this is day one and as you can see from the slides i'm going to talk a little about <clears throat> depression so i'm chilling in my room and i was just meditating and talking to god and i just wanted to come out here as promised and talk to y'all a little bit about depression um I'm more of a, a, a like a transparent type of person, so I'm going to talk about myself first so that you won't feel like um, you alone. And I know since this pandemic and before the pandemic, I experienced depression until I learned how to overcome it. Um, so the symptoms for me would be don't want to leave my house. Um always wanted to sleep or eat all the time or um even didn't want to talk to my friends or put on this image like everything is okay but inside just crying out um for help and sometimes it could be just a feeling of sadness um uh, will come over me and um and just negative thoughts you know that will hover your mind. And that's just some things that I experience. But I want to also tell you that when you do get in that place, that it's okay. But you never want to stay there. Like, I had got so deep and depressed to the point that my hair was falling out. Um, I had real, just bad depression, you know. And then came... um other things with it but we'll talk about that in another day so i just wanted to tell you that if you are battling depression um what's going on in the world with um the riots and the burning and the killing and the hanging or either um the laws or even when you lost a job or your weight or your children are not able to find um, food for your kids or whatever that can cause you to be there. Well, y'all, I'm still recording. I dropped the phone, so y'all know how I do. I keep going. <laughs> I want to let y'all know that you're not alone um, and that it's okay. It is okay that you're in that place. It is. But I just came to encourage you um, that it's just time to let it go. And I know you might say, Lover P, I don't know how to let it go. It's just simple as going to God and saying, God, I'm depressed because, and begin to tell God why you're depressed. Or begin to tell God why you're feeling these emotions inside and that you want to be um in this place because I, I remember when I was in there I felt like I need to be in there because I was going through so much in my life I felt like I needed to be here and, and you can't tell me what to do so with that being said I want y'all to know that I have been there and I understand that feeling but I want you to also know that that is a spirit and that is not of God for you to be depressed. And I know you're saying, lovely P, how can I be happy when I got all this stuff going on? Yes, I said that to me. But it's simple as just meditating on the goodness of God. It is simple as saying, I can break agreement with this. And I'm going to pray for you that the spirit of depression will break. And not only am I going to pray for you, but I want to encourage you in the midst. How about that? So this can be a child. This can be a teenager. This can be a mother or father or anybody who needs to hear this. I want you to know I've been there. And I'm talking about at my lowest point when I just couldn't see myself out of this place. I'm talking about y'all. It was just to a point that just didn't want to go nowhere and do nothing. 
ain't want to be bothered with nobody. I just want to be in my house, minding my own business. Nobody else. Nobody else at all. So, I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for this awesome day. I thank you, Lord God, for being with us today. I thank you, God, for what you are doing even in this moment. And God, I just thank you for being Lord over every situation right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, I just repent for my sins, my wickedness, my evil thoughts, things that is displeasing to you, God, things that was unrighteous to you, things that was uncalled for. Oh, God, even my mindset, even when that was wrong, oh, God, I repent, Father God, for it. Oh, God, I just give you my cares, my my concerns right now in the name of Jesus as I pray for your people right now. And Father God, I lift up this person who is watching this video right now. I pray right now that the spirit of depression will not stay rooted in them. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that it will loose them and let them go. And that it will be sent to the bottomless pit to await now in the name of Jesus. That those, those emotions, that those pains, even of depression or grief or anxiety... Or a panic attack that will cause them to be just in a seeking hole. And that they feel like they can't come out. I just command it to be loose from them in the name of Jesus. I just send it to the bottom of pit to await now in Jesus name. I just speak life to that place. And I ask you God to fill them up oh God with your peace. Let the peace of God of all understanding be in their life. Oh God order their steps. I pray for those who are seeking financial help. God, that, that a door will open that no man can open but you in the name of Jesus. God, that they have lost the loved one. God, I pray that the angel of the Lord will comfort them now in the name of Jesus. God, whether they are feeling in this place and they feel like they deserve to be in this place because something they have done. God, I pray that you will come in, oh God, and touch them with your anointing, God. That you will build them back up again in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And I speak to every person that is on here that know that you can come out of this place, that you can make it, that you can overcome, that you will be victorious at the end in the name of Jesus. And God, I give you glory. I give you honor, God. I give you praise in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope that my prayer encouraged you. And I just want y'all to know that I have been there. I've been in that place, being depressed, and I couldn't even hold my head up. Y'all, it was crazy. I just, it's just like everything was just around me. Even when I was depressed, I just felt like people was trying to hurt me. And I was already rejected and hurt. I was already in that place. So even when they would try to encourage me, it wasn't even better. I was just like, you don't understand. You don't understand my feelings. So, I just speak blessings over y'all. I thank you for watching this video. And I will be back on here later on um, with story time. So that should be interesting. And y'all have a marvelous day. Bye-bye.